Hey everybody, it's Ia Patsy here, and I'm going to do a special little reading for each of the um, different categories of signs. So I'm going to do a reading for earth, and then air, water, and fire. They'll be separate videos. This is, this is going to be um, something real quick. I'm going to be using the oracle cards from the Sacred Rebels by Alana Fairchild. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle, get three cards, and um, you can decide which card, before I turn it over, is going to be for you, your message for the month. And this is going to be your overall message for the month of May. Okay? So, I want to thank everybody. I'm up to 2,000 subscribers, and I really appreciate it. So, since I'm sitting here and I'm not doing anything, I figured let me just give you all this uh, little added appreciation for your loyalty. All right? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. All right? So, here we go. This is going to be for Earth. All right, so um, all those who are earth signs, and we're going to get three cards and see what it is that the divine would have us to know and be aware of for the coming month, and that would be for the month of May 2018. So this is the first card. All right. So let's get two more cards, please, Spirit. Second card, card number two. So one, two, and then one more card. So I suggest that you have your question, keep it in mind, and decide, card number three, decide which card is your answer. One, two or three so give yourself a second and I'll start with card number one so card number one was Pandora's gift number 45 so this is definitely a message from the ancestors because four plus five is nine and we know nine is the number of ego number of the dead okay so this is a message from you for you from your ancestors. Pandora's gift. Let's see what they're talking about. Oof. Okay. Pandora's gift. There is a mythic woman, much maligned throughout history, whose name means all gifted. Pandora lives within us as our curious nature, yearning to conquer chaos, evil, and darkness with the light of knowledge. She is the hopeful voice of our soul that asks the questions and, in doing so, triggers the processes that bring the answers. Sometimes it is sometimes it is through uncomfortable learning that we find our treasure. Pandora reminds us that the process of learning can take us to a, to places that seem like the very end of our world. Yet all is not lost. Even now, the light within you 
is stirring for a new revelation, a new life, and a new adventure. Pandora is all gifted and all giving. Her presence invites you to forego your belief in judgment. Now is the time to surrender the misplaced guilt that you may have brought upon yourself or another some terrible happening. It's time to let go of the shame-based belief in punishment. This is a belief that you deserve to be brought to task over any perceived imperfection or that your natural human journey somehow renders you inadequate. The human journey necessarily involves learning through experience. There is no shame in your learning process. Pandora's presence is the sign of a new time, a time to swap the notion of inherent shame for the acceptance of inherent divinity. From this moment on, how unstoppable you shall become. Sacred rebell rebellion is happening within your soul as a powerful abrasion towards liberation. You are breaking free from the weighty criticisms of the world, from the power games that bore you senseless, and from the insanity of sacrilegious priorities in this world. Dare to disobey anything and everything that is not divine. Pandora is the leader of your soul revolution. She defies the vicious judgments of history and all that has been said about her. She shrugs off misery, despair, and the weight of the world to recognize that she is the bearer of true and beautiful light, of peace, comfort, hope, and reassurance. With her oracle comes the realization that you too are, defiantly, are a divinely defiant believer in hope who shall cast off the works of anyone who seeks to torment you. As this shift takes place, you shall dare to look within your own being and find the light. You are being put on divine notice from the sacred feminine that there is a talent and ability within you that needs to be acknowledged. There is a worthy seed of something beautiful and necessary within you. If you choose to develop and express the seed step by step, it will become an extraordinary light in your life and in the world. So poke your tongue out to the naysayers and turn your attention to the bright hope within. You were born to strut your stuff. I say. Very good. So for those of you that picked card number one, this is your message. Now, those of you who picked card number two, your message is big, bold vision. Number 15, big, bold vision. Ashe, let's see what that's talking about. 15 is 6, so this could be talking about looking back on reminiscing about things. Number 15, big, bold vision. You were not born to play a small role in your life. You have the ability to dream big, even if you have absolutely no idea about how your visions can come to pass or what the details may look like. You can accept, assess the heart and guts of a vision by tapping into your wildest dreams and surrendering attachment to exactly how will it all work out. The details are up to the creative genius of the universe. You are an active, contributing participant, but not the sole player in your life's journey. There is something, a vision, or an idea that is coming to you. You may worry that it's too much for you, but don't worry, it is meant to be yours. Although you might have some adjustments to make and some tweaking to do as you let go of your limited thinking and open up to a fearless acceptance of bigger, 
brighter, more radical, and more potent possibilities of creatively living your light in the world. A sign that you are cracking out of your limited thinking to allow for a big, bold vision to come to you is that you might feel a little dizzy with the shrinking limitations and expanding possibilities of life. You may wonder if you're allowed to access so much wonder. Remember that in your healing and growing, success as you manifest, remember that in your healing and growing success as you manifest this big vision, you can touch the hearts of others through your presence, your inner work, your art, and your choices. It is a win-win situation. Those that are meant to live big, bold, and visionary lives need to give themselves permission to break the mold and forge newer, more expansive perceptions, perpet, perpet, perspectives of what is possible, what is permitted, and what is of service. It's about letting go and opening up. Others will benefit from this, even though it's your vision. It's not just about you. You're being asked to remember that when something is right for you, endless synchronicities and support will flow your way at the right time and in the right way. Stay open, receptive, playful, and surrendered. This oracle brings you a message. You're about to receive or be invited to become, part, to become part of a grand visionary beginning. It has the makings of something fantastic. No matter how the journey that brings this vision into reality unfolds, and there will be some twists and turns that you don't see coming, it is still helpful for you to be open to it. Trust your heart and be still with your choices. And when the time feels right and truthful, leap. This oracle brings a message for those who would like to further develop their intuitive insight. It's already happening. Trust in what you perceive, even if it conflicts with what everyone else around you is saying or the surface thing or the surface of things. Trust your inner perceptions. They are accurate and will, and will be proven so later on. The healing process will help you with this also. The oracle brings a general message of positive energy. Trust that things will be coming up roses for you. Even if everything else seems to be in a bit of a shambles now, it's really just the essential mess before a truly spectacular success. There's a, a healing process that goes with this and I'm going to read it for you. Say, I release all blocks to my vision. I release all beliefs, conscious or unconscious, stored in my body and mind that would have me belittle or minimize myself out of fear or ignorance. I choose to be big, bold and bright to vision with my heart and receive all the genius of the universe in supporting that vision in coming to life so be it ashe repeat this again whenever you feel yourself in awe of what seems to be coming through you as a vision for the future you've completed your healing process repeat that again, whenever you feel yourself in awe of what seems to be coming through you as a vision for the future. I say, lots of love there. Love from the divine, support from the divine. Okay, those of you who picked card number three, here we go. Wow, number two, inner trust. Inner trust. Weighing a decision, perhaps? Let's see what that says. Mm 
Though it may be cloaked and hidden, within you lies natural magnificence, vibrancy, and true uniqueness. The harder this is for you to believe, the more growth this oracle is offering you now. Your opportunity for growth lies in letting go of the need to hide yourself from the world and to let go of any doubt about the wonder of what lies within you. This oracle brings you the message that it is time for you to trust yourself and let the real inner you out from under the veil. You are being assured that you can trust your intuition and your own sense of things. Sometimes what you sense will be love and you will open your heart and move easily towards the source of that love, be it in the form of another person, a new career path, a project which you deeply, which you care deeply about and want to pursue, or a spiritual or creative practice that you are keen to explore. Sometimes what you sense will be more challenging than this and will ask something different of you. It might be that your sense, it might be that you sense fear and sabotage lurking within someone's intentions or in situations around you. This oracle asks you to trust yourself to find the most authentic and self-loving way to deal with that. This oracle asks you to trust yourself to find the most authentic and self-loving way to deal with that. Perhaps you're drawing this card because you are unnecessarily holding yourself back out of fear or lack of belief in your ability to support and care for yourself or in the importance of your need for self-expression in your relationships. Been holding that back? <laughs> that was me. The Oracle of Inner Trust asks you, oh, I'm sorry. The Oracle of Inner, inner Trust comes to you with this guidance. You know what you're doing. You have enough wisdom and an intuition to be able to place yourself more fully in the world, to take steps to unhide yourself. Even if you feel you have no clue about what is happening at a broader level in your life, even if you can't quite see the whole picture of what is taking place within or around you, you still have all the wisdom and intuitive ability you need to take one step at a time and navigate your way through absolutely everything that life brings to your door. If you have been thinking of taking a leap of faith and doing things differently, whether in your personal life or creative work, then this oracle brings a particular message to trust your instincts and go for it. This oracle comes at a time when the patterns of your life are shifting. You can take advantage of this shift and leap into an entirely new level of consciousness and experience. This is not a time for self-doubt or playing small. It is a time to get in touch with the courage, boldness, and daredevil within and take that step big or small into the future that is beckoning you forward. You have the wings to fly. Sometimes we don't realize it until we leap over the edge of what we have known and begin to soar into our new lives. Ashe, amen. Whoa, very good. Very, very, very inspiring messages for you for this upcoming month of, well, it's for the month of May, all right? I'll be doing your um, reading in May for June of 2018, but these messages are going to give you a little bit of a, mm, some information to work with as we go through May into June. Okay. So thank you so much for watching and I appreciate you guys so much. And I thank you for watching and I will be speaking to you soon. All right. Thanks. Bye. Love you.